I am Alvin Carter, Special Populations Tutorial Coordinator in the Department of Athletics. I am standing in for Chairman of the Tougaloo College Board of Trustees, Edmund E. Hughes. Before we move forward, please join me in a moment of silence for Chairman Hughes, who buried his baby sister this week. Let us pray that God continues to be his refuge and strength and very present help in trouble. As your presiding official, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 34th Annual Business Luncheon. At this time, I ask that you take a moment to silence all cell phones and electronic devices. Please, let's give, let's give a round of applause for our outstanding performance by the Tougaloo College Jazz Ensemble under the direction of Dr. Jesse Primler III, accompanied by Mr. Terrence Evans. You know, for more than 150 years, recognized for its commitment to academic excellence and social justice, Tougaloo College continues to be a destination for students who desire a transformative education. Throughout this business luncheon, you will hear narratives about the many ways in which Tougaloo College impacts the world regionally nationally and internationally. Through the unwavering support of our sponsors and business partners, we provide students with a one-of-a-kind transformative educational experience. I now invite Reverend Maxine Bolden, college chaplain, to the podium to deliver the invocation. Reverend Bolden. Will you find a posture of prayer and be still with us before the Lord as we pray? God, we give thanks for the opportunity to gather together in fellowship, partnership, and in stewardship of all the gifts that you have given to Tougaloo College. As we pray today, God, we ask that you will continue to surround Tougaloo College with your loving grace, that you will crown our president with your wisdom with your favor and with good health and long life, that as it, she moves to make moves for Tougaloo, that your grace and glory will go before her to make a way so that we might continue to build partnerships that make innovation easy and that lift our students and our college community up. We pray your spirit will be present with us this day and that even as we break bread together, that we feed our bodies, that we will be strengthened in our souls and our relationships as we gather together one to another. Be with us now in a very real way, and may you be glorified in all that we say and do. We pray this in the name of Jesus, the Christ, who is the ultimate friend. Amen. Let us now prepare to hear greetings from the Tougaloo College Student Government Association President, Mr. Monte L. Williams. Tougaloo College, where history meets the future and the moss hangs low, but the standard for academic excellence and dedication to social justice is ever so high. Good morning. I am Montel Z. Williams, a junior English major and pre-law minor here at our endeared Eagle Queen. And might I say that I have never been so grateful than to serve as the Student Government Association President at an institution that prepares its students to not only meet the future, but through its innovative curriculum and other expanded learning opportunities, prepares its graduates to make significant contributions that have a global impact in this ever-changing society. To Ms. Michelle Lawrence, our distinguished speaker, thank you for investing your valuable time and profound presence with us today. On behalf of the entire Tougaloo College student body, I greet and welcome everyone to today's 34th Annual Business Luncheon. Thank you.
I am now pleased to present a member of the Tougaloo College President's Ex Executive Cabinet, Vice President for Institutional Advancement, Mrs. Sandra L. Hodge, who will extend special acknowledgments and introduce several presentations. Let's give her a warm welcome as she comes to the podium. Good morning. Good morning, or may I say close to good afternoon. <laughs> Tougaloo College is appreciative for three decades of businesses in the business and education community partnering together to improve global competitiveness, create economic opportunities, and educate the next generation of independent thinkers, creators, and trailblazers all who will transform communities across the state and the nation. We believe in the power of partnerships as they are critical drivers of innovation and strong communities. As we celebrate the 34th annual business luncheon, we recognize and commend the, uh, uh, our partners for their support and investments in the lives of our Tougaloo College students through scholarship support. A scholarship is often the deciding factor in whether our students pursue higher education or complete a degree. Scholarships transform lives for our students. The return on your investment to student scholarships is exponential. Our students become change agents of the future, empowered to make a real lasting difference in their communities, professions, and the globalized societies in which they live and work. By investing in students, you improve their lives, their families' lives, our community, as well as our nation. An investment in students at Tougaloo College is an investment in our future. Tougaloo is grateful to have such law partners who genuinely invest in the college's mission and vision. Many of our partners are here today to show their continued commitment and educational excellence. And I have the honor of committing and applauding them for their unwavering support. They are an anonymous donor. We received a magnanimous gift of $250,000 from an anonymous donor for student scholarships. AT&T, Bank Plus, Central Mississippi Health Services Incorporated, Chairman Edmund E. Hughes, Jr., Cooperative Energy, Community Bank, C Spire, Aleutian, Fisher Brown Botrell Insurance Incorporated, the Jackson Medical Mall Foundation, and our honored partner, J.P. Morgan Chase, Kroger Incorporated, Mississippi Development Authority, Regions, the Reuven V. Anderson Institute for Social Justice, Robert M. Heron Support Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, Sanderson Farms, Thompson Hospitality, Trustmark, and the Wesley Peachtree CPA Group. At this time, I would like to ask Tougaloo College President Dr. Carmen J. Walters to join me at the podium. We would like to recognize a few of our partners for their generous scholarship support. Okay. okay. Um, it is with great pleasure that I ask Ms. Carmela P. Erskine, Managing Director of Community and Business Development Lead and Program Manager for the Chase Market Expansion, Ms. Michelle Lawrence, Community and Business Development Executive for Market Expansion, and Ms. Jennifer DeSalvo, Executive Director 
Market Director for the Alabama and Mississippi market with J.P. Morgan Chase to come forth to present a check for $25,000. At this time, I would like to ask Ms. Teresa Dickerson, Corporate Affairs Manager with Kroger, to please come forward and present a check in the amount of $25,000. And presenting on behalf of Kroger's was Mr. Chuck Hurd, uh, District Manager for Kroger. So thank you so much, Mr. Hurd. Um, I'd uh, now like to ask Mr. Gregory Johnson, Managing Director for Place-Based Investments and Grants, and our distinguished, alum uh, distinguished alumnus of Tougaloo College, and Ms. Brittany Morgan, Senior Associate for Place-Based Investments, both with Equity and Economic Opportunity, at the Rockefeller Foundation. Will you please come forward to present a check for $25,000. <clears throat> and we have one more presentation from Trustmark. I would love to ask to the stage to come and present a check for Trustmark Bank, Mr. Bernard Bridges, President for Hines County, John Wise, Regional President, and Mr. Leroy, Leroy Savage, Vice President for Commercial Lending. If you all would come forward and present a check for $25,000.
Thank you again to J.P. Morgan Chase, Kroger, the Rockefeller Foundation, and Trustmark. Your support is a vote of confidence in the work that we do. I am pleased to announce that with the collective scholarship support through our partners for this luncheon, be wonderful we have a drum roll. <laughs> we have raised over $496,000 for scholarships for our students at Tougaloo College. Let's give all of our partners another round of applause. And there's still time if there's a couple of you who want to close the gap and make it a half a million. So we're here and we can take cash yes. or check. Swipe, swipe, yes. Yeah. Philanthropy and partnerships are worth celebrating. Thank you all for celebrating this with us today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, each year, the Division of Institutional Advancement sets forth a theme reflecting the college's priorities and accomplishments and frames the business luncheon context. Collaborative partnerships, expansion into emerging markets. This year's video presentation created by the Division of Enrollment Management and Student Services, which includes communications and marketing, highlights the many ways in which our partners make our work possible. Please enjoy the video presentation. In this momentous occasion, we celebrate the achievements of our community and the college as we present them with our theme, collaborative partnerships, expansion into emerging markets. Over the years, we have made it possible for so many to dream big and soar high, and it all starts with you. Your generous support has always been an integral part of this institution, enabling us to provide academic opportunities to the next generation. Tougaloo College has thrived as a private, historically black college in the state of Mississippi. As an engine for global innovation, we aspire to work together with our strategic partners in cultivating and preserving the legacy of our beloved Eagle Queen. We pride ourselves to be the mentors of our future industry leaders and change agents. Here, the believers and doers rise together to accomplish something that is greater than any obstacles blazing their own paths and pushing boundaries. Greetings and welcome to Tougaloo College's 34th Annual Business Luncheon, where we celebrate collaborative partnerships that are critical drivers to our purpose of educating today's students and tomorrow's leaders. These valuable partnerships ensure that we continue to discover emerging technologies, incorporate innovative curriculum models that develop student skills, knowledge, and capabilities to thrive at college and life, and adapt to industry needs and the latest developments. Tougaloo College is a significant economic engine in Mississippi, contributing more than $42 million and generating jobs for the state's local and regional economies, including the spending power of Tougaloo students and graduates who live and work in Mississippi and visitors to the campus and its many events. Through our investments, educational offerings, volunteer service, and community partnerships, Tougaloo has a broad social impact. Tougaloo remains grateful for its collaborative partners like those honored today. These partners continue to invest their time and resources to help unlock our students' potential, allow them to pursue their passions, and prepare them for ethical leadership ready to influence change in a global society. We are thrilled to welcome our newest partner, J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and Michelle Lawrence, Community and Business Development Executive for Market Expansion. This partnership is another business and education win-win. Thank you to all of our supporters and you too can invest in our students by visiting our website, tougaloo.edu and click give. 
your gift matters. The inaugural luncheon, held in 1987 in the penthouse of the Jackson Hilton Hotel, was attended by 25 to 50 individuals. Encouraged by its success, the college's leadership decided to make the luncheon an annual event in February 1988. Coordinated over the years by the Office of Institutional Advancement, the luncheon has become a signature event in the business community. At the 2019 luncheon, the proposal and design of the West County Line Road connection was presented. And today, in 2022, it has come to fruition providing access. It is a visual representation of what Tougaloo is committed to doing and that is enhancing lives of those it touches. As a private college, we understand that positioning, alignment, and development are key to expanding our reach in the global marketplace. I think the Brown Tugaloo Partnership has been a phenomenal um, you know, connection for us and I think it is mutual as well. And this long-lasting relationship has definitely helped a lot of our students. I'm Christina Paxson, President of Brown University. Brown's long-standing partnership with Tugaloo College has existed for nearly 60 years. This partnership has enabled generations of students, faculty, and administrators at both of our institutions to study with and learn from each other. Over the years, we've created a host of programs that enrich our campuses through academic and cultural exchanges, collaborative research, and administrative engagement. And this partnership has manifested in so many meaningful ways. Some of our most distinguished alumni have undergraduate degrees from Tougaloo and medical degrees from Brown. Our partnership continues to grow and prosper. In 2020, we came together to create a new Health Equity Scholars Fellowship aimed at expanding diversity among public health leaders and addressing racism as the public health threat that it is. This builds on our existing partnership in public health that allows students to earn an undergraduate degree from Tougaloo and a master's degree in public health from Brown. Brown is so grateful to be Tougaloo's partner. I look forward to all of the opportunities ahead as our collaboration continues to grow. My name is Bill Bynum and I have the privilege of serving as CEO of Hope Credit Union. Anyone who's being truly honest recognizes that no one succeeds by themselves. That's why collaborating with a vital institution like Tougaloo College is so important. One might not readily see the connection between the respective missions of an institution of higher learning and a community development organization, but Tougaloo and Hope share a commitment to ensuring that everyone, particularly Black Mississippians, are equipped with the tools they need to be productive, prosperous members of society. While our means differ quite a bit, our end goals are largely the same. Hope is a direct beneficiary of Tougaloo's exceptional work. Several of your alumni are among my colleagues and board members and have played vital roles in building Hope into the nation's most impactful Black-owned financial institution. And we are proud to stand alongside Tougaloo as your financial partner to provide support during the pandemic. I also want to thank Tougaloo for being an anchor partner in our Deep South Economic Mobility Collaborative. Through this effort, we are joining forces with Tougaloo and other historically black colleges and universities throughout the region to invest in and lift up student, staff, and the community surrounding campus to close the opportunity gaps that too often limit people of color from climbing the economic ladder. Again, my colleagues at Hope and I are proud of our partnership with one of the country's most important institutions and we look forward to building on this relationship for many years to come. With Tougaloo's innovative partnerships, we fulfill the college's historic mission of academic excellence by providing advanced resources that are useful to obtain professional development and student success. Through your generous support all these years, we are able to accomplish greater heights and make things possible to our deserving scholars advancing and nurturing their academic endeavors. Your investment makes an invaluable impact that allows us to break barriers and produce top-notch graduates. Thank you and enjoy the event. Thank you, Mrs. Hodge and the Division of Enrollment Management and Student Services under the leadership of Dr. Whitney McDowell Robinson 
for that awesome presentation. Let's give them another round of applause. Now, another member of the executive cabinet, Dr. Leon Wilson, provost and vice president for academic affairs, will introduce our speaker. Let's welcome him as he comes to the podium. I have the distinct honor and privilege to introduce Ms. Michelle Newman Lawrence, our speaker for today's signature luncheon. Ms. Lawrence is a distinguished community and business leader committed to driving change and delivering on bridging the financial gaps in undeserved and underbanked communities. As you may have already noticed from our vita, Ms. Lawrence has over 30 years of varied experiences in the financial service industry and is known for bringing tools and resources to communities while educating and mentoring individuals and neglected communities in financial literacy and economic empowerment. Ms. Lawrence serves on a number of prestigious boards, but even more impressive, she has garnered some remarkable honors and distinctions. I'll name a few. In 2015, she was named by Smart CEO as Money Manager of the Year. In 2014, Operation Understanding Community Leader of the Year. The Network Journal named Miss Lawrence among the 25 most influential women in business in 2012. Most notably, the, the Philadelphia Tribune <laughs> regarded her as a woman on the move. She was also named by Philadelphia Business Journal in 2010 as one of the 25 women of distinction. And in 2011, Ms. Lawrence received a community service citation from the Philadelphia Councilman Curtis Jones, Jr. And we can go on, but that would not allow enough time for her wonderful delivery. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, I present to you Ms. Michelle Lawrence. Let's welcome her. Oh, good afternoon. good afternoon. Woo, did you hear that? I did. <laughs> At times, I didn't even believe it was me. I am overjoyed. I am humbled and honored to be before you this afternoon. I will tell you that I have spent months since uh, Dr. Hodge and President Walter said, oh no, we would like you to be the keynote. I was teed up to find someone else within the organization to deliver. And this is just my transparency. You asked me to speak, so this is what you get. <laughs> and so I spent countless hours saying, what do I tell a room full of educators, litigators, business women and men, community leaders, executives, and so on? What is it that I could share? What could I tell? What could I teach? And then I concluded, uh, nothing. <laughs> so what I will do today is pause for a moment to remind you. That's, that's what I'll do. I'll pause just a moment to remind you. 
And before I move any further, uh, this appeared to be a safe room, and if it's not, it's about to be one now. So I always give honor to the one who made this all possible. Uh, I, with him, I'd be nothing, and because of him, I am everything. I certainly give homage to the president of this esteemed university, this esteemed college, none other than President Walters. And I almost want to just say, what's up, Sandra? But you know, I'll be formal and say, I appreciate you, Dr. Hodges, because she has been relentless in staying connected and making sure, even to today, like, was your room okay? Are you okay? Did you get enough sleep? See, that's when you know you're in the South. People love on you down here. And I want to say, hey, to my Chase family, thank you for coming out. I so much appreciate you. And uh, to the woman uh, that carried me, she is in the room on today, so I certainly have to give a shout out to my mother. And so with my remaining 10 minutes, I'll get to it. Here's what I'll tell you. I am who I am, so understand that just as we talk about bringing your whole self to work, what you're going to get today is who I am. And the reason I can be so clear about that in this luncheon is because for far too long, we've allowed other folks to define and confine who we are. But today, I release you and say that you are free. So what you get is indeed what you see. I'm going to spend a few moments with you just talking about the theme on today, and I'm going to focus more importantly around collaborative partnerships. There are three things I want to leave you with regards to collaborative partnerships, and that's time, talent, treasure. Time, talent, and treasure. The reason why collaborative partnerships require these three things is because they are essential to you actually having and achieving the goal that's set before you. What I found most interesting is that the theme was so befitting of Tougaloo. See, now most of you were very familiar. You're here, you're graduates, you've got 60 years and plus. I had to do some research. I had to go because I wanted to understand who was I partnering with? And you can't really partner with someone if you don't invest in getting to know who they are. And so I spent some time understanding why it was so befitting to have a collaborative partnership just in the name itself. Choctaw, it means where two streams cross the Pearl River and the Mississippi. So even in its naming, it is already talking about collaboration because it takes two. No, I'm not talking about Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell, and I'm not talking about Rakim. So what a raw base. So what I am talking about is that even in its naming, it was already identified that it required collaborative efforts. And so in this collaborative effort, I want you to understand the importance of time. The giving of time and having patience with time. We understand that time is the commodity. It's often shared that it is the thing that you can't get back. So what? Spend it. Come on, this is call and response. Spend it. Yes, there you go. I know that you didn't expect that. I had that in my notes, just didn't tell you. So you spend it wisely. And so we understand that I can't get it back and I can't turn it back. So what I have to do with it is ensure that it's productive. It doesn't mean that production always ends up in a monetary profit, but it means productive so that there is always foundation for things to go higher. And so what is it that we're doing if, with our time so that things can go? Yes, you're catching on. All right, so in this building, in this time that we are spending, what I also recognize is that I give time because I find value. Wherever my time is spent is because I found value in the partnership. And so as we are sitting in this room today, assess your time, assess your value, and then figure out how you're spending it. Quite frankly, I count it a privilege that, my, that Chase has found time and has agreed to partner with such a fine institution as Tougaloo. It's invaluable in numerous ways. 
How we continue to bring things to the table has yet to be determined. But what we did promise is that if you give us enough time, we'll get it right. But we're going to start off on the right foot. Time. What I would also say is that I shared that time takes patience. Just as the building of this institution back in 1869 in a time of resistance where we would imagine where would there ever be the emergence of such an institution in the heart of the South Jackson, Mississippi, that you would find Tougaloo. But yet, even in resistance, there was a revolution. So what you recognize about time is that it requires patience. You can't expect that in your time, in your generation, tomorrow, I realize that you stick popcorn in the microwave and in two minutes you have it. But just understand that some things require more discipline. Some things require more intentionality. And that's what we're at the table to give. We recognize that we're not going to change anything today, but we can take steps towards that change that even after we are long gone, the change is still here. Time. Equity is a conversation that has spun through time. The collaborative effort that it takes for there to be racial equity does happen over time. It requires allies. So if you're going to be a partner, you, you've already signed, signed up to be an ally. And in a time where allies are needed, it takes courage to stand up against systems that impoverish others. It takes courage to dismantle models that shackle others to a poisonous past. It takes courage to disagree when things are not right so that we can make it right. It takes courage to recognize that when you sign up to be a collaborative partner, you signed up to be an ally. And so in this model of time, it was the coming together of allies. It was the coming together of those who saw rights even in the midst of wrongs. And over time, we've had a better trajectory. Change has come and change is still yet to come. That's why time requires the giving of who we are and patience. So I'm going to move forward to understand we've talked about time. And now we're going to spend the next few moments on talent. I would say to you, be clear to operate in your expertise and the world will benefit from your excellence. Far too often we're in lanes that don't belong to us, simply afraid that we're going to be left out or forgotten. Where the truth of the matter is, is that your gift always makes room. So if you stay where you're supposed to stay, ultimately you'll end up where you're supposed to be. So if you recognize that you have the talent then operate out of it. And recognizing here that Tougaloo produces, like I said, I wasn't going to tell you nothing new, but I'm just going to share and remind you of a few things. Tougaloo College has historically produced over 40% of the African-American physicians and dentists practicing in the state, not in Jackson, in the state of Mississippi, and more than 33% of the state's African-American attorneys and educators, including teachers, principals, school superintendents, college university, faculty, and administrators. Now, just to bring it home for you, I was sitting in the room with a such said other institution on the East Coast. Out walks the chief of staff. We're having conversations. We're wrapping it up. And I said, yeah, by the way, I'm the keynote of Tougaloo. This person in this other, other institution whipped her head around and said, let's be clear. You don't to get into embarrassed by alma mater. So what are you going to talk about and how are you going to present yourself? <laughs> So to have you understand that this said person was working at another said institution, still held her roots and her grounds to Tougaloo, just goes to show you that ain't nothing but nothing to play with. <laughs> so we've talked about time, we've talked about talent. Now I'm sure as many of you are in this room, we understand the value of treasure. It takes all three to make this whole. It takes all three for this 
to move forward. Tougaloo is not going to just exist on our hugs and our kisses. It is certainly going to take our treasure. And so I'll tell you where your heart is, is where your treasure is. So if your heart is in Jackson, then your treasure should be in Jackson. If your heart is at Tougaloo, so should be your treasure. And so hence is why we are on this journey together to ensure that Tougaloo gets and receives what we can bring to bear. So how does that fit in scope with who we are as an organization. What I'm proud to say to you is we are ever growing, ever changing, and on a mission to get it right. We may not do it right all the time, but what I'm pleased to acknowledge is that even when we fall down, we find a way to get right back up with accountability. Expansion into markets. I thought that was a play on my role, so thank you very much. <laughs> uh, we are expanding. While you may not see Jackson as an emerging market, we did, and in fact, so much so that we are already touched down here in Jackson and looking to build out even more branches within Jackson. It's an emerging market for us. And it's an emerging market and becoming more well-known. Here's what I would say unto you. There is another said institution that has a said coach that makes uh, this state have more visibility. What you want to do is clap and applaud for the, for the visibility. And then what you want to take advantage of of everybody that's watching to say, hey, we here too. We're right across the street. <laughs> you don't hate on, on, on PR. What you do is leverage it because it didn't come out of your budget. <laughs> so what I would also say to you in terms of talent, one of the things I greatly appreciate about the organization J.P. Morgan Chase is that we do internal work as much as we do external reach. And the internal work is mean, meaning that we have identified that we have some need and some work to do around the African-American population within our organization as well. What I can tell you, as you've heard, is I've been in the business for more than 30 years. It's the first time in 30 years at this new organization where we are not an initiative and a task force and a project, but a line of business. And for those of you who don't know the difference, let me help you. That means it's funded. <laughs> And because we have such a keen eye on what we do inwardly, it means that we are not hypocrites when we start doing some outward reach. That doesn't go to say that we haven't had our fair share of press and other issues. What it does say is that we have a commitment from our CEO and our operating committee that when we make a mistake, we're not coming out trying to cover it again. We're trying to own it. And so with this talent, what we have also identified and recognized is that because we have well over 200,000 employees, we share this talent. Yes, we pay them, you get to use them. I can see the line forming now. The, the, we do, we, we actually allow them to go serve in nonprofit organizations that need infrastructure, that need technology assistance. In fact, we actually have someone sitting on the advisory council for technology here at Tougaloo. So this is what happens when you become a collaborative partner, you bring your full resources to bear or you stay home. <laughs> Lastly, what I'll leave you with is just remember who you are. Remember from where you come from. It wasn't easy getting here and it won't be easy getting there, but recognize that you have the time, the talent, and the treasure to do it. God bless you. We thank you again, Ms. Lawrence, for sharing your insight with us today. I know that we all were truly encouraged. Let's give her another round of applause. And now it is my esteemed honor to present the leader of our institution, Dr. Carmen J. Walters, the 14th president of Tougaloo College.
Good afternoon. I'm going to uh, go off script a little bit to say um, how excited I am to see all of you in the room and hopefully we will not be wearing masks very soon. So let me give you a round of applause. Thank you, Reverend Carter, uh, for all that you're doing today to assist us uh, in the absence of our board chair. He is in our hearts and on our minds. Tugu College is pleased to welcome J.P. Morgan Chase Bank as its newest partner. This partnership is another way to expand our footprint into emerging markets. Ms. Lawrence, you certainly deserve another round of applause. Thank you so much. And for those of you who are getting nervous about another bank at the table, I will tell you like the pastor says on Sunday morning, there's always room at Tougaloo. <laughs> so please don't be nervous. We are expanding and growing and there is room in the inn. Ms. Lawrence, please join me at the podium. We want you to have a piece of Tougaloo's history which is Mississippi's history. Therefore, we are pleased to present you with a portfolio of sketches by American illustrator Tracy Sugarman, known for chronicling the Mississippi Civil Rights Movement and Mississippi's Freedom Summer as a token of our sincere appreciation for being the keynote speaker for our 34th annual business luncheon. Philanthropy is undeniable. Philanthropic support from our partners enables Tougaloo College to continue its mission of advancing academic excellence while maintaining our social justice legacy. I'm going to take a pause just to share, and I've had a chance to share this with several folks here today, but I want to share it with all of you. This year, is the 50th year of the Pell Grant. And we have Senator Claiborne Pell to thank for the grant. 50 years ago, the Pell Grant paid for 75% of a student's state college tuition. Today, it pays for 14%. So you are in this room for such a time as this. We need your support so that our students at Tougaloo College have access to the middle class and the upper class in this state and in this nation. I wanted you to understand the vision and the need. And so look at someone next to you and say, your gift matters. We are honored to celebrate our current partners and forge relationships with new partners with the vision to make an even more significant impact on the world. The Society of Corporate Philanthropists is the highest achievement and philanthropic leadership and commitment to Tougaloo College. The benefactors inducted have demonstrated their loyalty to Tougaloo College's mission, not only through time and talent, but they have given more than $100,000 to preserve the educational pathway 
for generations to come. Today, I am honored to induct the following benefactors. The Letty Pate Whitehead Foundation and TikTok Incorporated. The first benefactor to be included, inducted, is the Letty Pate Whitehead Foundation. The foundation is a public charity and critical partner that provides scholarship support for the education of female students in nine southeastern states. Miss Natalie Hampton and Miss Zuri Williams, both are Tougaloo College Letty Pate Whitehead Foundation Scholars. Please come to the podium to make remarks and accept the award on behalf of the Letty Pate Whitehead Foundation. Let's give them a call. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Natalie Hampton, a junior biology major at Tougaloo College from Clinton, Mississippi. I currently serve as the Student Government Association Vice President and I am a Jackson Heart Study Scholar. I'm honored to stand before you this afternoon as a Letty Pate Whitehead Scholarship recipient. This scholarship has allowed me the opportunity to pursue my medical endeavors. I have had the opportunity to participate in the Mississippi State University Undergraduate Research Program, serve as a Lewis Stokes Alliances for Minority Participation Scholar, and participate in the American, in the American Heart Association Strategically Focused Research Network Fellowship. I am thankful for the Letty Pate Whitehead Scholarship donors for investing in my college education here at Tougaloo. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am Zuri Williams, a senior English major here at Tougaloo from Clinton, Mississippi. I stand before you today to ex express my deepest gratitude for being a recipient of the Letty Pate Whitehead Scholarship. The foundation's grant making is inspired by the life of Letty Pate Whitehead Evans, an extraordinary philanthropist and businesswoman. She was the wife of Joseph B. Whitehead, one of the original bottlers of Coca-Cola. When Mr. Whitehead died in an early age, Letty Pate took over his, took over his, his business and real estate interests, guiding both to remarkable success. She became one of the first female directors of any major American corporation, where she was appointed to the board of the Coca-Cola Company in 1934. Mrs. Whitehead gave generously to education institutions throughout her life which inspired her son, Conky Pate Whitehead, to start the foundation in honor of his mother. This foundation has provided me with a security of knowing that my financial needs at Tougaloo would be met. This organization was created to serve deserving Christian girls and women, which helps assist my tenor throughout college. I am thankful for the generosity of the Letty Pate Whitehead Foundation, which allows me to better focus on school and inspires me to become a hardworking woman within society. This scholarship has benefited not only my financial needs, but serves as a tool of inspiration that the foundation was created in honor of a hardworking Christian woman. Thank you. The second benefactor to be included is TikTok. Mr. Zachariah Davis, a Tougaloo College TikTok scholar, please come to the podium to make remarks and accept the award on behalf of TikTok. And TikTok gave Tougaloo $1 million. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon. <laughs> Before I get started, I wanted to thank Ms. Lawrence for those wonderful, inspirational words. You have no idea how, how that really touched me this morning. Um, so my name is Zachariah Davis. I am a junior biology major from Madison, Mississippi, as well as a Jackson Heart Study Scholar and a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. I am the son of two first-generation college graduates. I aspire to attend medical school, where I plan on pursuing a career in car cardiology, specifically to become a cardiothoracic surgeon. Being a recipient of the TikTok scholarship has allowed me the financial freedom to shift from using my limited funds to pay for school to now be able to pay for my medical, medical school admittance exam. I am grateful to TikTok and to Glue College for developing this partnership, thereby providing the scholarship opportunity for all students. Thank you. The prestigious Tuglu College Chairman's Award, given by the board's current chairman, is bestowed to recognize exceptional individuals who have rendered meritorious service and our leadership supporting Tuglu College's vision. We recognize this honoree for his steadfast commitment, his passion, while serving on the Tougaloo College West County Line Road Expansion Project and the Tougaloo College WLOO Two Rivers Communication Board. His wise counsel and unselfish service have been invaluable and impactful and we appreciate your willingness to lend your time and talent to Tougaloo. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the recipient of the 2022 Chairman's Award, none other than Attorney Melvin V. Priester, Jr. <laughs> Attorney Priester, join me at the podium. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Let me begin by saying how honored and humbled I am to receive this award. I want to say thank you to the president. I want to say thank you to Chairman Hughes in his absence. I want to recognize all of the other politicians in the room that have also helped make that West County Line Road project happen. I see the current city councilwoman, Ms. Lee. Um, I want to give a small donation to say maybe we're at 496 let's we're at 497 now yeah. <laughs> I hope we can get to 500 before we leave uh, yeah, that's wonderful. and I just wanted to say that we have been through so much turmoil and confusion as a business community over the last few years so many things have come into question I look at my wife over there. I don't think she's ever going to go back into an office ever again. <laughs> Things that just once seemed unquestionable are now up for analysis and question. But there's one thing that should never be questioned, and that is the importance of Tougaloo College to Jackson, Mississippi. That Tougaloo has been a beacon and an anchor. It has been a lighthouse. And I encourage everyone to continue their donations and support of Tougaloo College because right now you have such great students, such great leadership. I will 
tell a quick story about the president, that being the president of a college is more than just setting up classes, hiring teachers. It's like being the mayor of a city. You have so many things that you have to do, from roads to security to medical care for your students. And in working with the president, one of the things that she has always done whenever faced with a legal question I've worked with her on is she goes, what decision best serves the education of our students? And that's what matters the most. So you've got a great leadership team, you've got a great chairman, you've got a great board of trustees, and a great president and faculty. So business leaders here in this room, thank you so much for your donations today. And please, please continue to support Tugaloo College. I would be remiss if I've already recognized my wife. I want to recognize my law partner and mother, Charlene Priester. <laughs> uh, Priester Law Firm has been in Jackson since the 1988. And we do business today to do business tomorrow. And we are so proud that we get to do business with you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Oh, we got to I know that Reverend Carter is supposed to come back to call me up, but I'm just going to stay up because we need to get out of here before the weather uh, gets too terribly bad. Um, so I do want to say, uh, again, that we are grateful for your attendance today. Uh, you've helped us celebrate collaborative partnerships, and we appreciate the investments made by our partners to our wonderful institution. Tougaloo College's success is your success. But, there, but before we conclude today's program, I just need to make a few acknowledgments and ask these groups to stand collectively and be uh, recognized. And so all of the corporate sponsors and partners and luncheon patrons, you know who you are, stand all over the room so we can give you a round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all of you. If we have any government and elected officials or their representatives, please stand in the room. Thank you. Alum, alumnus, we're happy, alumna, um, alumna Angelique Lee, got it right. Tugla College Board of Trustees, I don't think we have any trustees here. They're all traveling uh, out of state, but I'm gonna say it anyway just in case. Trustees. Tougaloo College students, faculty, and staff, please stand. Aren't they beautiful? Thank you to all of our faculty and staff and our students. Tougaloo College alumni in the room, please stand. Yes, yes, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. Business luncheon founders are not here today, but I do have two ladies here that were here for the first luncheon. I'm gonna ask them to stand. There they go back there. Thank you for your support. Business luncheon program participants, those of you who are here, we wanna say thank you. Business luncheon honorees, we thank you, thank you. Business luncheon speaker and Miss Michelle Lawrence, Thank you so much. And Dr. Camille Davidson from Southern Illinois University School of Law is on our campus today, talking with our law school students about opportunities and discussing the formation of a partnership with academic leaders. We're so happy to have you as our guest. And a special thank you to Ms. Sandra Hodge and the Division of Institutional Advancement for planning and orchestrating this spectacular event. Thank you and have a great day. And we invite you to join us for the luncheon next year, February 2023. But we also invite you to stay tuned for a big announcement 
Monday, February 21st. So save the date and listen in. Thank you all. Enjoy the rest of your day.